Hi Simran. Hello. Uh, welcome to Turkey. Thank you. And is, is this your first time here? This is my third time to Istanbul. Third time. And uh, you are here, as far as I know, for a conference, right? I am here for, I was speaking at a conference on um, media design and technology. Okay. I mean, uh, we are very much aware of your success in sustainable to domain, so uh, we didn't want to miss this chance. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, uh, you know, did this interview is for Wanda, and uh, it's, uh, we want to learn the sustainable, what we can do for sustainability in emerging markets and also in startup domain. Uh, do you think why sustainability is very crucial, uh, maybe in emerging countries, but especially like, uh, for companies? Absolutely. I think sustainability can be an incredible driver for companies. And what we mean by sustainability is looking at sort of the economic impacts, the environmental impacts, and the social impacts of business. So how does a business impact a community? How does a business use natural resources? And how can we work with those um, areas to increase profitability? Okay. And uh, you know what developed and the developing countries, uh, I mean, uh, market dynamics. Do you think these two market domains, in which perspective they have differences in sustainability approach? You know, the interesting thing is that um, there's some overmix, you know, overlay between emerging markets and developed markets when it comes to sustainability. But I think the two distinctions are that we actually see more innovation in developing markets when it comes to sustainability. Um, these are organizations that are um, maybe smaller businesses that are really responding to a lot of the sort of challenges that we're facing right now. So environmental challenges naturally um, create a sort of restriction of renewable of non-renewable resources. So all of a sudden, um, companies are looking towards solar power or wind energy to start powering their business, for an example. Um, you know, we're also seeing a lot of social challenges in the world. So we're hearing a lot more discussion around human rights, around sort of empowering employees. And, and I see smaller organizations within developing countries really working to address some of these challenges. Whereas in larger markets, we see um, maybe larger, more established companies that are the ones that are transforming sustainability from initially an idea of um, philanthropy to one that's more aligned, aligned with corporate social responsibility. Uh, there's a high uh, tendency in thinking that the sustainability is is something for, for rich countries or for rich companies. Do you think in emerging markets and especially for startups, this is what we are uh, considering, uh, do you think it's possible to have uh, sustainability? I actually think sustainability is essential in a smaller market and in an emerging economy because um, it offers the opportunity to really, um, you know, ultimately what sustainability tries to strives to do is to help us become more efficient, more efficient with our natural resources, more efficient with our time, more efficient with our labor. How can we do this in a way that doesn't compromise the ability to do it in the future? So um, for me, I actually think sustainability can be an incredible driver um, for innovation within a company and can also help a company establish a competitive advantage. More and more we see in the global economy, developing markets are where um, the new jobs are coming from, where creativity is happening, housed where um, the next generation of leaders are living and working. And so um, what I believe is that if we t are to employ sustainable practices within business at this time in emerging markets, we have a real opportunity to transform some of our biggest challenges and create a, a thriving economy. Okay. And uh, in my class, the, the, the speech that you gave, uh, you mentioned that there's a really, like a a uh, strong connection between innovation and uh, sustainability. And uh, you think this is also true for startup companies and uh, it can boost your uh, uh, innovation in the company? Absolutely. I think, um, I think sustainability can be a driver for innovation within a company um, in many different ways because in order to be sustainable, you have to be creative. You have to think about um, doing things a little bit differently than you are right now. So that innovation is inherently a part of sustainability thinking. 
Um, in addition to that, I think startup companies are absolutely well positioned to take the lead in this area because they are more agile, because um, they're smaller outfits that have a greater opportunity to um, perhaps think in new ways, develop products that are new, um, create different ways of differentiating themselves in the market. So I believe sustainability is completely aligned with innovation and that they really go hand in hand. Okay, any examples that you can give? I think some of the best examples of this are um, from some of the smaller companies I've seen all over the world that are um, thinking of new business models. Some of my favorite examples come from turning products into services. So looking at, for example, um, the organizations in the United States that are, um, instead of requiring people to buy cars, which is sort of the norm in the U.S., they're now thinking about the car as a service. So what people really want isn't the car, they want the transportation. Um, so now there are opportunities, like we see in, in many cities all over the world, car sharing programs. So you can actually um, pick up a car from one location, drop it off in another location, and you have a membership to use that car from time to time. So um, that's one example that I really like. I see a lot of innovation in um, sustainable agriculture and food, looking at how we can start to transform our farming practices. Uh, farming is one of the most um, greenhouse gas intensive industries in the world, um, so it's a great contributor to climate change. So if we can start to think about um, using our resources differently and growing healthier food. Um, so the, the rise in organic food is very exciting to me. Not just organic for wealthy people, but organic for all people. How can we do this on a scale that is sustainable? Um, looking at textile companies and um, the way they're, they're changing the way they use resources. Yeah, large companies like Levi's are now trying to take the water out of their jeans um, and create jeans that are made with less and less water. So it's not just about um, reduced water in the cotton, but it's also about educating the consumer once they, they, they purchase the, the genes to um, start to be more educated on how they actually use the product. So I see just a lot of interesting ways that people are trying to respond to our challenges and create greater differentiation in the market so they can establish themselves as leaders. Okay. Um, do you think we can apply some environmental policies in our companies? Any, any practical tips that you can recommend us? Absolutely. I think it's essential now in this day and age to think about the environmental impact that your company is having, first of all, because our resources are constrained. Um, we have um, you know, non-renewable energy sources that we rely on, such as petroleum. We um, are you know, rapidly uh, polluting a lot of, or wasting a lot of the water that we have. Um, so I would say as a startup organization, the things to really look for first are um, what we call the low-hanging fruit, the easiest for, sort of first steps to take. Look at, at your waste stream. Are you um, recycling or keeping products from the waste stream that don't have to be there? If you have a company that, say, has a small kitchen, um, can you provide for um, people water in a, in a bigger container so they're not bringing small plastic bottles with them? Or can you um, make sure that at the end of the day all the computers are, are powering down and shutting off at night? Can you create sensors on the lighting that you're using? Um, can you start to have virtual meetings instead of in-person meetings at certain times to avoid either getting into a taxi or getting on a plane? Um, how can you start to just slowly and then from there, move forward to reshape your business to one that responds to our environmental concerns, responds to our social concerns, and really captures um, the trend that's, that's continuing to grow, which is sustainability. Mm -hmm. And when was the last time you were uh, in Turkey? The last time I was in Turkey was um, oh, a year and a half ago. Okay, but uh, so do you see any differences? Uh, Do I see any differences? You know, what I've had I mean, the from opportunity... Chelsea, yeah, <laughs> in a very short time. Um, what I did not expect in Turkey was um, the position of women entrepreneurs, uh, particularly here in Istanbul. Having the opportunity to um, meet women at Kagi there was an incredible experience for me. And, and, um, and lecturing at the university and seeing a lot of young women who are interested in entrepreneurship and seeing... Um, seeing that they feel empowered to move forward so that, that there is a system in place that will change um, their perceptions of what they can and cannot do in the world. And to me that's been, and perhaps this was always here, um, but for me that's been the new lesson since and the last time. You have not been in Middle East uh, at all? 
I've well. been just oh. a little bit in the Middle East. Okay. Yes. I hope we will see you some for some speaking uh, yes, engagements. I would, love that. Okay. I would love that. I mean, the Middle East is an area that desperately needs to look at the kind of resources they have and the, the environmental challenges that we're facing. So it's, it's the place um, that perhaps most needs sustainability and I think is the place that is um, ripe for opportunity. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.